I have found the best free SEO tool that all local business owners need to know about if they want their Google business profile ranking higher, showing up in that map pack, and getting them more leads for their business. And I don't know why, but it seems like every other local SEO YouTube channel is not talking about this tool enough, and it is called Plepper, P-L-E-P-E-R. It's spelled funny, the capitalization is all over the place. It's a free Chrome extension, and you need to go get it right now. But before you do that, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what the heck this tool is, what it does, and how it's gonna help you rise the ranks hopefully show up in that coveted map pack, get more leads for your local business. Just like a client of mine in town, he's a cabinet maker. The information that we were able to get by using Plepper helped him get some early wins so he can continue investing in his SEO. And now he brings in about 20 to $30,000 per month just from Google. Sounds like something you might want, right? So there's two big things that Plepper does really well. Plepper helps you spy on your competitors by letting you see all the categories that they have here when you search something generic like kitchen remodeling, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And it also lets you pin down on a specific profile so you can see all of their business categories as well as some behind the scenes information. Now, Google has this GBP API, don't worry about that, but that's how Plepper is able to pull in this information. Now, if you're just looking at Google Maps without Plepper, you can usually infer what the primary category is. It's usually the thing below the star ratings, but that's not always true. For instance, if I search SEO Bend, Oregon, it lists all these businesses as internet marketing services, except for my friends over at Dash that are a marketing agency. But if you look at ThenCan Designs, for instance, my SEO agency, it's saying that I'm an internet marketing service. It's saying that me and my team were an internet marketing service, which is correct. However, if we search Bend Web Design, you'll notice now it looks like our primary category is website designer. So which one is it? You wouldn't be able to know unless you had access to the GBP API. And I'll tell you that most of us don't have access to that, but Plepper does. And so let's use that tool to get this information for sure. Now, if you wanna get Plepper for yourself, it's super easy. Just Google Plepper, remember P-L-E-P-E-R. Once you do that, it's usually the second result for the Chrome Web Store. Just click Add to Chrome. I think you know how to install Google Chrome extension. After that, you don't have to do anything else. Just go to maps.google.com and start searching. Again, when you search something like kitchen remodeling, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, you'll get this aggregation of all the categories for the businesses that show up on the first page of the Google Maps results, which is typically about 20 businesses. And if you click on a specific business, you'll get all this other information. Now, how can this help you rank higher on Google? Because I know that's all you care about as a busy business owner. Now, the thing about Google Maps SEO, which is really what we're doing right now, focusing on our GBP, is we have to make sure we have a plan and that we're doing the most important task. Now, if you watched our last video where we ranked the ranking factors for your GBP, you might remember that the most important factor is the primary business category. You have to have to have to copy what your competitors are doing. If you're a kitchen remodeler, you're probably actually gonna put general contractor as your primary business category. But just like the cabinet maker client I mentioned at the start of the video, you don't wanna miss out on revenue streams, so you wanna put all of your additional categories. You really wanna use this page because it's gonna help you decide which secondary categories to include. Of course, don't lie and don't put a ton, right? Maybe three, four, or five secondary categories. That's like the sweet spot that we found so far. This makes sure that if you're a general contractor, you also show up for kitchen remodel and bathroom remodel. If you have a chiropractic clinic and you also have a massage therapist, make sure you put massage therapy so that way you're showing up for that as well. If you're a property management company and you also do real estate, you're gonna have both those as categories. So make sure that when you're setting up your Google business profile for the first time that you get this right, and if you haven't checked this before, go in here and make sure that you have the right categories. Now, before I go, I just wanna mention there are some other cool features kind of hidden inside of Plepper that you might wanna check out. Inside of this panel, there's a whole bunch of little links. Most of these aren't super useful. However, the one with the star is actually your review link. And so if you're too lazy to go to your GBP backend and get that link from there, that's another place where you can copy it from. Now, I'd be remiss to not mention GMB everywhere because it seems like everybody else on YouTube that talks about local SEO is in love with GMB everywhere. And don't get me wrong, I like GMB everywhere too, 
but their pricing is a lot different than Plepper's. You only get five views per month, so Plepper might not be the prettiest tool that's out there, but it's 100% free and we love that, right? Now, if you've watched the ranking the ranking factors video, you know that we're just scraping the surface on what's actually important for Google Maps SEO and your Google business profile. And so while Plepper is a necessity, if you're gonna start working on your local SEO, you have to keep going. Now, if you're gonna be taking local SEO seriously in 2025, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're gonna be dropping our massive Google Business Profile Setup 2025 video next week. I'm so excited for that. So make sure you don't miss that one. And in the meantime, be sure to check out this shorter video where I show you a proven four-step framework for how to build a killer Google Business Profile. I'll catch you in that one.